Hello all you YouTubers and boat enthusiasts. Thanks for joining us for another SV Links video. This week is a very exciting time for us because we have some big news. Yes, we are on our way to the build site for our first week of actually building our boat. We're so excited about it. Of course, for the first couple days, we're gonna have to finish up a few things on the lot, but we're gonna get the strong back out and we're gonna start building the port canoe. And if we get as much as I think we'll do it, get done this week, then we'll get to strip planking that hull and at least some of it by the end of this week. So the boat will actually start getting constructed. Yay. So come along with us and check it all out. Today we're going to build a 50 foot structure that goes all the way down the center here and that structure is going to be 8 foot wide for most of it and 50 feet long, about 4 feet high. The idea is we can put those big huge long uh, foam panels that are going to be about 50 feet long that we have to strip and we got to build that structure to hold those but we're going to do it modularly so that these are done in little cubes that we can take apart and reconfigure to different places where we want to build our bridge deck or we want to build our cabin top. We'll just move these cubes around and rescrew them into different configurations. So that's the concept and we're gonna build it right now. Well, first thing we're doing is cutting the legs for the uh, tables. So they're gonna be about 30 inches. We wanted a comfortable height to walk yeah, along so need three more after I cut the and the rip okay, those I'll get three out of 50 foot yeah. foam pieces. And now we're assembling the blocks together. So it's coming along really fast. This is only maybe an hour and a half when we've gotten to this point. And uh, it doesn't really matter about these being level either because we're just laying those, those big long foam on there and they don't have to be leveled to strip the, the sides off. We will have to level them when we do the main boat parts like the bridge deck or the cabin top. But right now, we're just doing the strip cuts. They don't even have to be leveled, so that's great. Well, we have our six cubes all finished up and all we have to do is join them together and our table for strip planking is ready to roll. All right, so we've got the full length and we've got them threaded together here. The reason that this last, the reason this last one is wider than the others is because later on we need to use this as a, a 10 foot wide for working on the cabin top. So for now, it doesn't matter on that side since we only need this side to be straight to cut our strips off for the holes. All right, so this is Ken Doherty and Ryan Tassie. Ken's an old time friend of mine. He used to work with me in the game company stuff. And now he works as a father doing construction. So he's a handy guy to have for building stuff like this. That's right. <laughs> Knows what he's doing. So, uh, so what we're doing right now, now that we've got the strip planking cubes done, is we're working on the strong back so we have to build a level platform which is why we poured the cement but we now have to build a platform on top of that to span those cement pads and then we will build the actual strong back that came with the kit on top of all of that so that's what we're working on right now it's sunday so it's just going to be brian and i and we're only going to work a half day today simply because uh it's Easter and we have some family get-togethers that we're going to be doing. I have a nice meal to go to, so looking forward to that. But we do want to get some work done today, so what we're going to do is we're going to knock the forms off of the cement. It's been long enough now. And uh, that means we can put the lower strong back that we built yesterday down and get the plywood on top and screwed down. And that means that we can start putting out the actual boat canoe strong back on top of it. So. That's what we're going to try to get to right now. When we put these cement forms in, we used a laser level to make sure that these pads would all be at the same level because we're going to be put the two canoes on these on their stands and then they have to be level with each other. So all six of these pads are exactly level. So all these two by fours that we're taking off of things are going to come useful because we'll use them as struts to hold the ribs for the strong back of the canoes. So we'll make use of it again in just a moment. Next up, 
we've got the strong back that we built yesterday on and we checked the level and it's all level all the way both sides long ways so that we poured the cement properly because it's perfectly level everywhere and now what we're going to do is we're going to take plywood and screw it in and that'll really firm it up uh, you know give it strength with all those screws going around each piece of plywood and that's it for the strong back we built and then we'll get on to the one that was shipped with the kit and we'll start assembling the ribs so there we go All right, well, here you have it. There's our canoe platform. So now we can start putting on the various pieces of the strong back to actually put the strip planking on. And that's what we're gonna do the rest of today. Well, today is April 10th, and this marks the official start of the construction of the boat because we've got all the lot stuff prepared now, and we're bringing out the actual forms to start strip planking the hull. So today, is the day that we mark as the beginning. So when you're doing your estimates for how long it's going to take us to build this boat, it starts from this day and this moment. Okay, so to build the strong back, we need the BF pieces to go with the strong back pieces. BF. And this long one. Woo. This is the bow of the boat, and this is the first piece of the strong back. All right, well, figuring out the start of the strong back was kind of tricky, so let me go over what we had to figure out that was very difficult from what the plans are. So, the first piece here uh, it sticks out because it's going to come out to these very narrow ribs at the front of the boat. and. The first one there isn't marked strong back the way it should be. It's just marked A. And you have to match up this board with A on it. And then the B's match up and the C's. Now finally in the middle here, it does tell you that that piece is strong back number one. And down here it shows you strong back number two, but only on these three boards. But those three go together that, are, that were marked on them what they actually were and then everything else you just have to match up the lettering and then sort of check the spacing between from the plans and you can see that there's a shorter spacing and then they start going to a thousand millimeter jumps as you go along here so you keep matching up c and c and g and g together here when you get down towards the end here though there are some extra small pieces that you have to put in. There's an E in the center and two I's that go onto the end. And those two give you the slots for, for the 19 and 18 pieces that go across. When you're putting these in, the ribs, they're very tight. And we had to hammer this down uh, to get them in. So they're very snug and very tight. Uh, so that, that's so difficult. But you just kind of take a piece of wood or a rubber mallet if you have one and uh, slowly work them down. You can see it takes a lot of force to to get those down. Now that piece doesn't have extensions out there. It just has two tiny little slots in it. That's a BF-17 and that it tucks in on the inside there. But so at this point we're going to start hammering in all of these different cross pieces as you see down here. Uh, they're all marked BF-19 through 1. Well, actually, they don't go all the way to one. They go to about four. Uh, then the pieces get so small that you actually use the ribs in to stick up as uh, inserts. All right, so there's where we're at right now. These are too snug. And on the very first ones we did, we had to hammer these with about a three-pound mallet to get them down and about you know 300 hits to get these down. And we broke a couple of the MBFs, so we'll have to do a repair on those. So that wasn't working. So we figured out that if we got a trim router, bit like this and we adjusted it down so that the roller would go along we could flip it back and forth and just barely shave up and off a bit and clean these up we do three times and then they slot in there nicely
one pretty far down. Oh, it looks like as far as it wants to go. All right, there you go. And uh, it's a lot easier. The uh, number of times we had to hit those first ports was pretty bad. So anyway, um, that's much better and uh, we didn't have to hit them anywhere near as many times. All right, so we've got them all in now. So they, we routed every one of them and got them to slot in all the way down. A couple repairs we'll have to do on the first two because we hadn't been routing them yet. But uh, all together, we're ready to start putting in our ribs. These are the forms for the strip planking. The first rib is in. So we'll be working on number two now. Number two. Well, actually, it's number 18. We're starting from the back, 19, 18, 17, and so are. But second one we've done. Now, this one, uh, I'm not sure what happens with this one. Does it slot in half of it? I think so. All right. Later on, when we were putting in the very first top strip, we did discover that BF-17 needed to go down flush all the way to the bottom board. And so we adjusted it down, and that wasn't any issue at all at that point. So here you get to some of the ribs are coming to pieces, so we have to screw them together to make a single piece that goes across. And there were several of these, and we just used two by fours and sandwiched them between the two. As long as they're below the top edge of it, they don't affect the strips that get put on later at all. Well, as you can see, we're up to bulkhead number eight and about to put in seven. Uh, for today, we're only going to six, so we only got two more to put and uh, we'll hit it tomorrow morning for the rest. Now, I said bulkheads, but these really aren't bulkheads. None of this MDF is actually part of the boat. It's just a form to make the hull. So the actual bulkheads we will be installing later on. Fortunately, there's not much wind these days and not for the next two weeks, so we don't have to worry too much about having the cross struts put in tonight. Uh, this is about as windy as it's gonna get. So they're good for tonight, but you can see they're a little bit wobbly and that's because we have to put all the cross struts up top to make them solidify up and be stiff enough so that when we put the strip planking on, it doesn't twist these and do strange things to them. Because when we put those strips on, they have to, they have to bend and twist and that's gonna pull on these. And there you have it, as far as we're going today. There's the, the rest of the little ones that come out. These ones right over here. But we don't wanna put those in right now because they have no support. So we have to put the cross beams in to support them. And we're gonna be doing all the cross beams tomorrow. So these are all the ones we can put in before we do the cross beams. And we'll get to that in the morning. All right, well, so here's the stern portion of the bulkheads. See coming down to where the sugar scoops will be. And on up. Today we are going to start by leveling this whole thing uh, both side to side and up and down and everywhere we've got a bunch of shims we'll put in to make sure that it's perfectly level because you know when you're using wood like this it's not always perfectly level. So we'll get it all set perfect and then we're going to put in struts across here horizontally and that will keep these tops in sequence as well. So that's what we're starting with right now. Here Brian's cutting the first of the braces that we're going to put in across the tops of all these forms. We've got our bracing in through all of here. You'll notice one of the bracings is missing right here and that's because that's for the forklift will end up lifting this off the forms. And we've leveled it all with these legs here because, again, these wood pieces are just not perfectly level. So everything is leveled all the way along. What we're doing right now is we're taking out the foam between the two laminate panels so that we can put a biscuit that goes all the way across here. And we'll show you that in a moment. But we've got to take the rest of the foam out here. Looks pretty good. So now that we've got that clear, 
to 20 millimeters depth, we can insert the biscuit. So uh, we're gonna epoxy this in here in just a minute and uh, seal these two long panels into one almost 50 footer. Hi everybody. Well, Phil and Brian are knee deep in epoxy right now, but I'm taking a well-deserved day off to enjoy the USC spring football game. Enjoying the band, the football, the cheerleaders, everything. You don't have to go. We put plastic down underneath there so that the epoxy doesn't stick to it. Then we coat the biscuit with epoxy and the slot that we routed out also with epoxy. And then shove them together until the laminate on the two panels meets in the center over the top of the biscuit. And then we just have to let it set up and we're ready to start cutting the strips out. and stuff to get this to pull tight everywhere but uh, it's it. So you can see just how long these tables are that we have to strip plank because we got to cut these things in one and a half inch strips all the way down here. So that begins tomorrow hopefully. We got a few more things to get done today if we're going to get to that tomorrow but the seam is done. So that's ready to go. Well, this morning we're going to finish up the very front of the strong back and right out to the tip of the bow. And uh, once those are on, then we'll start strip planking this morning or maybe this afternoon. We'll see how fast we are. But uh, we should get some strip planking done today. So we're on our way. We're down to the last piece on this. Just BF1. Bingo. Ta da! Bingo! Now we just gotta put a few supports here, three of them, and we're on to strip planking. We ran into an issue at the back here where the slope of these coming down was not proper. And so we checked with Shonig and uh, as it turns out, the bottom of, of 18 here, uh, right here of this one, was not slotted properly in the cuts. And so we just recut it and uh, slotted it down. And so now it has a, the right slope going up. Now, I'm sure they're gonna fix this for, you know, the future kits that come out. But since this is, Hole number one of the 1520, uh, there was a small error there, but it was not hard to fix. This is just MDF. So we just fixed it up and uh, we're ready to roll on that. So what we did here is we wanted to put these little extenders out so that we could set the first level of these strips and that they would sit right along there. But you can see how easily this stuff bends to get onto the, to the hole shape. It's really pretty easy. Initially here, we're gonna have these three foot strips, excuse me, three inch strips. And as we get further up, they'll get narrower and narrower because we have to make these tighter curves up at the top here. So, uh, but initially we can go with a much thicker piece down here. But again, places like right here and stuff, we have to go to narrower strips uh, as we go. So, this is just a dry fitting and we'll do the whole thing with dry fitting and uh, then we'll go back and start epoxying one at a time, but that won't be today. Today we'll just be cutting some more strips. What we're doing right now is uh, putting tape uh, along the edges of these because uh, these packing tape, the epoxy we're gonna be putting on later won't stick to it. So we have to coat these in packing tape first. The 
This was a big moment for us because this is the first strip that we actually screwed into the forms for the drive fitting. So felt good to get started on mounting these strips on either side and again alternating back and forth to keep the tension on the entire forms about the same as we go up. Well, as you can see, we've got two strips on both sides. These are both three inch strips. And we're gonna go up two more three inch strips today on the sides, but we're gonna to wanna to start coming down from the top soon because there's gonna be that weird piece that we get to in the middle. And so we kinda of wanna meet equally as we go down. So we'll put a couple more on the bottom and then we'll start putting strips from the top right now. At this point right here, the curvature gets steeper on these ones right here. So what we did is we cut off the three inch board right here and then we split this one in half and attached it in here so that this could make the curve better without so many facets sticking out that we have to sand off. So you can see that's still making a nice smooth surface right there. So you can see right here, they start to split apart more because of the steep curve that there is right in these two spots. And so that leaves a little gap and ridge here. So we'll be filling that with thickened epoxy and sanding this flush uh, before we do any uh, continued work on that. But that's the way we get around these curves with smaller pieces. So we'll go even smaller for the next one and on up. As we cut strips, we wear our full suits and our respirator, for me at least, because I was up where the spray from all the fiberglass parts were coming out, and a mask for Brian there, so that uh, we're not inhaling any of these parts or just getting them on our skin where it's itchy. Well, as you can see, we've been strip fighting from the top part today, coming up the bottom and down from the top to meet up. So let's put another one on. Up here at the bow, you can see that the strips that are kind of arranged oddly up there. Uh, there's a couple different things. For one, we will figure out later on that we need to split those to smooth those out, but the ends will still bunch up oddly. And that's because we're extending them beyond where the hole actually goes. And these will be cut off. And then a special fiberglass part will be fabricated by us to go at the nose of the bow there to make it a very very sharp entry into the water so don't worry about how odd those things look at this moment they will get better as we work it's uh, similar at the stern here these will all be cut off right at the back of that last form so the part you see extending past there is just going to get chopped off anyway so that's no big worry about how odd they seem to be laying down in the end they will be perfectly smooth and at the same exact uh, cutoff point. So if you'll notice, we're staggering the boards here at the end. And the reason for that is that these big panels, as you saw earlier, we had to put this biscuit in right here and epoxy that together. And we don't want those to line up over here, so we're staggering them so that they get that more weaker spot uh, apart. So there's a one break point there. And of course, there's going to be sheets of basalt going over the top of this eventually. Yeah, it's only 50 some degrees out here, and that's hot. But uh, hopefully we'll get all these strip planking parts done in the cooler weather right here before we get to the heat of summer. So we're trying hard, and as you can see, we're moving along. This is only the very first couple days that we've started strip planking, so we're moving. It's all good. What we've discovered so far in laying down these foam laminate panel strips is that they conform to the shape of the hull quite easily. It would be a lot harder if these were wood slats that we were trying to put down and bend into place. But 
the foam panels are so bendable that they can twist in and lay down to curves and do both at the same time without very much trouble. We'll see. We're still alternating back and forth to keep the tension on it. Buddy. There's only a couple spots out near the extreme bow or stern areas where the curve is so tight with the strip that we had to do something different there. Right. Let's go uh, one more on the lower part so we'll go on the other side. We're reaching the stage here where we want to quit bringing them up from the bottom and mostly come down from the top so that those strips are the ones that are full length and the ones we're going to have to cut in are up on the side of the boat. Well, it's Friday, end of the day, and as you can see, we're starting to get this to look like a hole a little bit here. We probably would have been nearly finished with this one in just the two days except that it rained again all day yesterday and this morning so we only got a half day in today and maybe a half a day in the day before on actual strip planking and so really there's only about one day's worth here but it's coming along and we're going to be coming down with these ones here and they'll reach about here and then we can't do full length anymore and for this little part here there's going to be a little pie section that goes in we'll be getting on that tomorrow get this to round over like this we came up with another way to do this rather than cut the planks what we did is we just mounted it and then we we actually cut it while it's mounted here we just pulled it out and ran the saw up the side here and so that way we didn't have to have cuts through here so we can come along at a, like a two and a half here and then we just split it and then it can roll through that back section there and make that nice rounded twisting curvature there so that works now up on top here we didn't have to do that because they're coming in relatively flat through here and like I say we're going to continue that tomorrow all the way down till it meets right here but when that does that when it meets here it you can see it's getting wider as it comes out here and on down so that will leave a, a section that we have to cut in special pieces in there so that's our challenge for the tomorrow. Okay, it's Saturday in the early morning and uh, yesterday we cut six strips so that we didn't have to make as much noise this morning and we'll put those on now and then we'll cut some strips later when it gets more like 10 o'clock where we're not making so much noise for the neighbors around here. So right now we're just going to put on these strips and get to work. We're getting there. This is nice and uh, smooth here. We're gonna have to strip, we're gonna have to uh, split these because if they're not rolling as well as these ones are here. So we're gonna fix these three right here. But uh, as you can see, we've got the whole bottom of the boat there done. And we're getting to the point where these meet together and we're gonna have to start cutting the uh, strips in here. So that's sort of next up. But uh, we're going to continue going down the side here as much as we can um, to get these, these narrowing and narrowing strips uh, lowered down or in the, in the end higher up because this is the top of the boat up with the hull here. And so we want the bottom of the hull to be uh, the most consistent here. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, we were going to fix the front here. So we've now split all of these so that we get a nicer twist through here. As you can see there, so that's much better now. Same thing on the other side, all set with a nice twist to it. Well, we did it this week. We got to work on the boat as promised. And so it's coming along and uh, the strip planking will get serious next week and we'll finish up the entire hull and get that on next week's video. So uh, thank you all for watching this week. We appreciate your time and uh, of course, uh, thank you to all of our patrons. Yes, very much. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of our next video. Which is going to be finishing up the porthole. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.